Vacation Bible School. And you can see we've got some construction stuff happening. And it's concretes and cranes this year. And I'm so excited to be back for Vacation Bible School. I have missed all of the crafts since last summer. And so we're going to make some more this week. If you're here with us in person at church, that's great. And I'm so excited to see your faces. But if you're at home, that's okay too. Because you guys can watch these videos every day and see how to make the fun crafts at your own home. So today we are going to make this really cool prayer journal. Okay, so here we are with what came out of our kit for day one. We are going to be making a prayer journal. So there's the directions that came with the kit. And then I've got all of the pieces here. We've got some stickers, some more stickers. Um, here's our cross that says prayer journal in our pages for the inside. And then this blue piece is going to be our front cover and our back cover. And then we're going to put it all together with our string that comes in there. So the first step is going to be to take all your little pieces out and lay them around where you can use them. So we've got our blue piece here, and this is going to be our front and back cover. And you can see that they've put some indentions there, and so we're just going to fold it along that middle line, and it folds pretty easy. Once we fold that, we're going to stick our papers on the inside, and you kind of got to tap them a little bit so that we see, see where our holes are kind of lining up. We want our holes in our paper to line up with our holes in our cover. So if we do that, you can kind of see where it's going, and then we'll fold our cover over it and you can kind of see maybe that you can kind of see through there so when we start stringing our string our stringing the string through there it's gonna go through all of our front and back cover and the pages in between so we will start at the bottom pull that through the back maybe see I thought it was lined up let me give it another shot and sometimes it helps to separate it so that you get each layer all the way through. And then I'm going to put it through the back. There we go. That went through there, okay? And then I'm going to leave a little bit at the bottom. And then I'm going to make a circle and come back through the back. We've got all of our pages. It kind of makes a spiral there. I can snug those up a little bit. And then we're going to tie this so that it stays in there. So we'll leap it through that next hole and then tie it around that. So the back will just have our little tail, and then our top, we actually get to put, we're going to tie a knot so that it doesn't slide out, and then it has another little purpose. I didn't do it like I thought. There it is. And if you, we've got two, I'm going to sweep that up so you guys see it good. We've got these two stickers, and they say, God at work. Oh, there we are. We say, say, God at work, like little construction signs. And we're going to make these into a bookmark for our journal. So we're going to take this sticker off, sticker back off there. And we're going to 
just stick that right there in the middle. And we're going to take our other God at Work construction sign and put the sticky sides together. So that when you want to mark your place in your pages, it'll slip on through the middle there. And you'll know where you're at. Then we get to put all our stickers on and decorate. So we put this. You can do these however you want, but the directions give us a, an example of what it could look like. So I'm going to follow the directions, but if you want to be creative and put your stickers on your journal in a different way, that is okay too. So I'm going to match that up with the cross that they drew on there. And then there's a blank space up here. So I'm going to put this sticker that says, there we go, God's plan built on the cornerstone. And then we've got our name sticker. So you can write it on there, know who it goes to. Here we go. And then all of our fun construction stickers. If you want, you can put those on the front. But if you don't want to cover up the cool designs they put on the blueprints, you can decorate the back with it. So I'm going to stick a couple here. If you want to decorate some of your prayer page, pages inside with it, that's okay too. Oh, the wrong side. I have to peel this side. There we go. Put, we could put these in here if we want or however we really want they are pretty sticky so I think once they're once they're on there they're pretty stuck so there you go and you've got yourself your very own prayer journal that you made so here is my finished prayer journal and I thought I'd show you guys a couple of the pages the first one I wanted to make sure that I was thinking about my family and I'm praying for them that they're healthy and that they're safe and I really wanted to thank God for them because they are such a blessing in my life. Um, and then here on the second page, I wrote, Thank you, God, for loving me. Please help me to love others and to see them as you do. And, you know, I can draw sick people. So I just drew a heart here to help me remember that God loves me and that I should love others. And that goes for you guys, too. And I love all of you guys, even if you're not here and I don't get to see your faces that's okay. I do want you to show me pictures of you guys working on your projects or when they're finished so your parents can upload those to our children's ministry Facebook page on Facebook, our group there. Um, and I will look at them and see them and be excited. See you guys tomorrow.